Hi, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Dr. Donna. Welcome to week 552. Have I got a message for you. The biggest takeaway for me from this book was forgiveness. I used to be able to hold a grudge. I could tell you who did what, when, what time of day, what day of week, and how long I had been mad at them and what was going to happen if I ever caught back up with them again. The forgiveness that Immaculate had for the people who destroyed her family. I mean, just murdered them in the most brutal, awful, catastrophic manner possible. And for her to be able to just go and look the man in his face, well, he kind of didn't look at her, but to be able to confront him and say the simple words, I forgive you, because she wanted to move on. She wanted to go forward with her life. She had a mission. She's on a mission from God to just spread the word of forgiveness. I was touched by the book. There are a couple more people that I need to forgive, and I need to forgive myself, too, for just holding on to things because people hurt me. She was able to do it because she heard from God and he said, hurt people basically hurt people and children know not what they do. You wouldn't be upset with a child who was doing something because they just couldn't understand or because their hearts were harmed in such an evil way. So you have to forgive the person. You have to be able to understand that in order for them to do something like that, there has to be something else going on with them. Because again, hurt people hurt people. The main thing is to be able to forgive someone, no matter what they've done to you, to be able to say, I forgive you and let's move on. I think that was just the most amazing part of all of it. It's what she does today, going around explaining to people how to do it and how to move past it and that you can have a fulfilling life once you forgive. The part that is amazing is that she and I both were in our third year of college while this was taking place. And when I read that part, it kind of just, I've never really read a book where something was simultaneously happening, that I'm doing the same thing that someone else is doing. She was going through so much more than I could have ever imagined. And I don't, I know, I can unequivocally say without a doubt, there is no way that me in 1994 or 1995, <laughs> ooh, 1990 anything, I would have never, ever been able to go and forgive anybody. I am from the streets. I am from the hood. I still had access to my bat. There is no way, I am 100% sure, that I would have had the strength to forgive. So the fact that we were having parallel lives and she was able at that time with that young youthfulness, life hadn't even started for her yet, to be able to have the strength to go and forgive, I, again, I am so shocked, not even shocked, but just in awe of the strength and the leadership and the faith that it took for her to be able to do that and to be able to move forward and teach herself English in the bathroom. So many things that she was able to do in such a short amount of time. And I was simply getting ready to go into the military and go to a dance camp. And while that is commendable, to be able to be that strong in your faith, I didn't have that at that time. And I think that that is more than just, I don't even know if there's a stronger word for admirable, astonishing, amazing, but it just, it's God sent. That's what it is. What I admired most in the book and what I still admire because I went and saw YouTube videos of Immaculate is the faith and the leadership. The faith to say, wait, put this big chest of drawers, this big armoire in front of the bathroom. 
and to ask for a French to English dictionary and read the books and the intestinal fortitude to lead while they were at the camp and then to just continue to go to the UN day in and day out and, and just pray and visualize and see herself doing all these amazing things. Faith and leadership is the reason why she is who she is today and why she was left to tell her story. It is an amazing, amazing story, but the aftermath, what she's able to do now after all of this time and to continue to believe and have faith and have a husband and a family and just go spread this amazing message to everybody that forgiveness, having faith and forgiving is the way, the true way to life. I'm a work in progress. Like I said, there's still some people on my I'ma get you list that I need to just let go and let God, as we say in al -Anon. But her faith and her leadership are what resonated the most with me in this book. Absolutely, 100%, I recommend reading this book. I recommend reading it. I recommend annotating it. I recommend purchasing it and handing it out as gifts, especially people who have gone through tumultuous times and catastrophic events. It really just shows that you can forgive. And when you do, you can have an extraordinary life. And to have faith of the grain of a mustard seed and turn that faith into something that just snowballs and it's contagious it will help you, it will transform your life, your family, your career, your business, everything when you start forgiving people and you have faith that there is a higher power greater than yourself that knows what you need and will give you that when you believe. Get the book, get the book, get the book, okay? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's my time. I just want to leave you with this. If it's possible for me, then it's possible for you. Watch what you can do when you forgive at 52.